Writing is a big part of comics and it can be a little bit intimidating, but I think with the streamlined process that promotes creativity over structure, it can make the whole process a little bit more fun. So let's check out my process for writing comics. Hey, Walter here and welcome to the next installment of How to Make Comics series. Make sure you sub so you don't miss out on the next one, which is going to be about uh, line work, thumbnailing, pencils, inking, and all that stuff. All right, so writing questions come up a lot, like how do I write? And probably the most helpful and least helpful answer to that question is if you want to get good at writing, if you want to learn how to write, then write. <laughs> and that's completely unhelpful, but I'm a big believer in it. If you want to get good at writing, then just write. Write every day. You'll get better just naturally from the repetition of writing. You'll learn like what you don't like about your own writing. You'll learn what you do like, and then you can start focusing on that stuff. But since that question is, or that answer isn't super helpful, it's nice to be pointed in the right direction so you kind of know that you're headed down the right path and you're not just wandering blind in the forest. The first question that usually comes up for writing is what software do you use? I use Google Docs. It's free, it's online, it's instantly backed up. You can access it from your phone, your computer, your grandma's computer. Uh, wherever you are, you can get to your scripts and start writing and looking them over. But there are other screenwriting softwares out there like Scrivener, Final Draft, the Celtics. Just Google uh, screenwriting software and you'll be able to find some. The next question that tends to come up a lot is like, what format do I use? Like, what is my script supposed to look like? And the answer to that is there is no correct format. You can format it any way you want to. Like, this is the script that I used for Metal Shark Bro. And you can see how structured this script is. And I loved drawing from this script. It was so easy with the dialogue and everything being numbered. Um, now, I would probably never write a script like this myself uh, because it is very structured and it takes a lot of time to do something like that. So while I really enjoyed it as an artist, I probably wouldn't want to write that script myself as a writer. So for those of us that are a little bit more lazy, uh, let's check out my script format. All right, so comic scripts usually start off with a page number so we know if we're on page one or page two or page three. Uh, keep in mind when we're writing a comic, the odd pages are on the right side of the comic for American comics. That means that the odd pages are the page flip. So when you're flipping the comic over, you want to give the reader a reason to flip that page over. So you usually kind of want some kind of uh, cliffhanger. It doesn't have to be a cliffhanger, but some kind of reason for the reader to turn that page. That also means that the even pages are on the left. So if you ever want to do a double page spread, which is where the artwork goes across both pages, it needs to start on an even page and end on an odd page. All right, next up is panel number. Uh, these are the boxes that appear on the comic page. There is no set count of panels per page, but realize that the more panels you have, the less details you can fit into each of those panels. Uh, the average panel count per page is around five, but it can go as low as one if you're going to do a full page spread. And I've seen panel counts up to 16, but you could go crazy with it. The panel contents start with a description of what's in the panel, followed by dialogue and then sound effects. Panels tend to capture one moment in time, so try to visualize that moment in your mind. So you don't want to write for one panel, John pulls out his gun, loads it, fires it at the zombies, the zombie heads explodes and it falls to the ground. There are way too many actions happening in that panel. So try to be aware of what's going on in that panel and how an artist would be able to tackle that moment. You could maybe get away with uh, John pulling out his gun, firing, and the zombie head exploding with some clever art storytelling. For panel dialogue and sound effects, again, there is no set number but you need to remember that the more dialogue that you have in there, the less artwork you're gonna be able to fit. So you need to be aware of that. I usually try to keep like it to like one to three sentences per panel, um, and I like to break them up into smaller balloons, but if you're gonna have a huge amount of text, you're probably gonna have to keep it contained to one balloon so that you're not wasting a lot of space. There is one thing that I use for Google Docs that kind of makes the formatting of the script a lot easier. It's an add-on called heading numbers. So basically what this does is it automatically numbers the headings in my document. So the page number and the panel number, those are headers in the file. 
And so I can use the add-on to automatically number those for me. And the reason I do this is because sometimes like I'm, I'll add pages or add panels and it can really suck if you need to add a page between uh, 80 and 100 and then you have to go through and, and renumber 20 pages. So with this add-on, you don't have to do that. So it's really easy to use this add-on. Um, you just download it uh, from the Google add-on store. I'll put the link down below so that you can grab that or you can just search it when you're in uh, Google Docs. With this program, I can type page and then I hit Control Alt 1 to make it a header one format. Then I can type panel and hit Control Alt 2 to make it a header type two line. Uh, if you're not familiar with documents and headers, this is basically a hierarchy, something similar to category and subcategory. So once I'm done writing my page, it will look something like this. Now I can use the plugin to auto number the pages and panels for me. The reason I like this is because I can add a new panel and run the plugin again. It fixes the numbers for me. Same thing for pages. By the way, I use control enter when I'm creating a new page. This inserts a page break. I like to have my comic pages on their own physical page just for readability when I'm drawing it. The next thing up is method. And for me, I use the vomit method, which basically means I don't judge myself on anything I'm writing when I first start out. I basically just vomit out all of the ideas, the characters, the dialogue, and I just let it come out as fast as it's gonna come out. If I write something that might be a stupid line of dialogue or a cliche action, I don't judge it, I just write it. I can always go back later and fix it, but I just kind of want to let my brain kind of just get everything out um, without any restrictions behind it because that's a good way just to have a happy accident of something happening. So I wanna allow that like you would with art to happen with the writing. So the first thing I'll do is I start off with an outline, which looks a little something like this. When I'm first starting out, I put the, the beginning of the story and the end of the story into the outline, and there isn't much in the middle of the thing. And the reason I do this is because usually when I come up with a story, those are the things I have. Like I know how I want it to end and I kind of know how I want the whole thing to start. I just don't know what's gonna happen in the middle. And so when I do the outline, I put those two pieces in there and I can start adding little bits and pieces into the outline. You know, I can maybe do something in the middle and then maybe add a little bit to the beginning again and just like just slowly just start putting all these little pieces in like a jigsaw puzzle. And the same thing, I don't judge anything I put in here. If I come up with a cool idea, even though it might not work with another idea that I had already written, I'll put it in there anyways. Like once I get it all out of my head, I can go back and edit and figure out what is best, what's working, what's not working. But you don't wanna do that at the beginning of the process. And boom, you've written your first comic book script or at least on your way to writing your first comic book script. And just out of curiosity, what are you using to write your comic book scripts? Are you using Google Docs or are you using some other program and why do you like using that program? And don't forget the next video I'm going to be doing about how to make comics is going to be about the line art, so the thumbnailing, pencils, and inking. Um, if there's any topics that you would like me to cover specifically, please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, be sure to like, link, love, hug, and sub for more sweet, sweet goodness. Peace!